Hello and welcome to another episode of the Viking Conquest Bloody Campaign. In the last episode, we're doing some minor errands and raiding some caravans, basically to try to recruit more men uh, to hold Dunwich while we are going to combat with our main army to take finally Duntaro. But for that, we need more men. Definitely more men. So we're going to do another recruiting run north. We have a quest to return. Bring some salt to some castle, so we're going to do that and basically uh, recruit troops along the coast, low level tiers from the villages and cities uh, as garrison troops for Dunwich. And then I think we are finally getting somewhat ready uh, in order to attack our main target in the Kingdom of Alba. Well, that's interesting, that's a Wessex patrol, yeah, still around. That's still a leftover from the quest. That's interesting. Uh, let's actually try to recruit some guys in Wixham. I'm not sure if we actually have the uh, ability to do so, but... Yep, we do. One villager! Indeed, that was worthy of a time. Well, we never know. We never know. We take this one angle, Saxon... And continue our journey northwards. Head for Bedroomborough and Middlesham first. We're going to try to recruit men left and right in every single village. Sadly, we do not have good relations with most of them. Uh, King of Vietnam offers you a sum of 8,000 won for Eckwald. You know what? I'm going to accept this offer because we're going to capture him right away. Anyways, if he's trying something funny, we need the money right now. Uh, let's see. Recruit volunteers. You need permission for the village first. Okay. Uh, let's go to the village and then in that case. That's actually a nice village. Good day, sir, and welcome to Middlesham. I'm the leader of the village. I'm looking for a man who willing to follow me. I'm recruiting. I'm the leader of this area. I'm smart to, to ask me. I know you're someone feared. I'm not sure many men would not want to join you. Uh... I take some men that might not be nothing but trouble and you will uh, would even get paid for that. I see you look like someone with a silver tongue. Well, let's talk. My inferences here is vast and so much and so forth. I see. Okay, here is 500 penningers. We have the permission. Very well. They always go for the money. We just have to convince them, right? Right. So, another couple of villages. Eoferham West has been looted. Interesting. Make Ada's party. There must be a hostile war party close by. Alban war party, that is. Well, we have to keep an eye out for these guys. If we get the chance, we should take some, some of these guys out. We are currently not very numerous uh, in order to take down a host, but, uh, you know, the more of these guys we have in prison as well would considerably ease our task. Let's meet the mayor. Good day, Arab Lutu. What can I do for you? Uh, do you have a job for me? Yes, I'm looking for that. Oh, no. I'm not looking for a stupid Lyra ever. Ever. Seriously. There is some X-Men I could recruit. Do you seem somebody strong and accustomed to hard life? Interesting in recruiting you. Me, I'm referring. Yeah, sure. Whatever. That's the way it has to be. We have to buy our way into the men's hearts. I guess. And we're going to ask for recruits, and there we go, another 10 men. Another 10 men for our army. And then we can actually sell some stuff. Still have some loot left. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Now, uh, let's sell some fort from the port, and actually, where do we have to bring the salt to? Dinbeer. Ah, yeah, right, up there. Perfect. We want to go to Edinburgh anyways, try to recruit more men. After all, we got some about 30 men. That's the start. If we get 50, I'm somewhat content. 100 would be better, of course, but we can still recruit some Vikings, Vikings around Doombeach. That always works. Uh, some more peasants. All right. Some here, some there. We will get our numbers, we will get them. 
let's see, uh, Adgefrinham, and then there is the Inbea. I do believe we have a permission to all these ones. We already had them or got them in the last recruitment run. Yep. Although five, uh, two peasants is really not worthwhile or trouble, but you never know. We have to increase uh, the relationship with the villagers, basically. So we get out uh, maybe like 10 men each. That would be fine. 10 would be fine for every single village. Then we have like 50 from the villagers, another 30, 50 for the, from the castles and the cities. So we had 100, something like that would be nice. We should be working, should be working on that. Now let's go uh, to the grounds because we have a, uh, we're going to return the salt to the castle Castellan. Good day, Lord Bluetooth. What can I do for you about the mission you gave me? Uh, indeed, I brought you five units of salt. And begin the level. Good news, Lord Bluetooth. I will let the merchant know so he can come and get this materials. For now, please take a salt you brought to the storage over there and, of course, here's your reward. Leaf. So we increased. Uh, I guess not. I thought we increased the relationship with the town or the city, but it seems we did not. That's quite interesting. Now let's see. Um, by the way, before we do anything else, do we have attribute points? Yes. We're going to put them into surgery because I think we need five. Sorry, uh, army. Yeah, we need five points for another surgery bonus. And shit, we cannot write, do that right now because we don't have enough intelligence. I just wasted two skill points. Oh, what a pity. Yeah, you need you need um, five points for another bonus and we need more intelligence. Well, we're going to increase the intelligence before long anyways because we want to read more books. So yeah, it's an, we call it an investment. Not that we really, really need it right now, but we have nothing to do with the skill points right now anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Who do we have here? Sailors, ransom brokers. Greetings to you, sir. Looks like someone who should get to know me. Why is that? I broke a ransoms for the poor wretches. Oh, well, that's all I need to know. Thank you. I want to sell you all the prisoners I have. Perfect. Now, we could take the sailors, but they are crappy troops and uh, they want a lot of money as well. So, we're going to recruit the men from the city and then I think we head back south with the little men we gathered. Well, we gathered about 40, I say. I wanted at least 50, but we take what we get. The next thing we're going to do, we have still a little bit of money. We're going to look for more merchant caravans. We're going to recruit a couple of Vikings and then, uh, yeah, we just need to make a little bit of quick buck, maybe 20, 30k, uh, try to capture some merchants, probably south coast of England, uh, and then we have a little bit of a money reserve. Hmm. Although, what is the weekly budget looking like? Not bad, I mean, we're in plus right now, um, but we have to consider that our army wages will be at least twice as high. So we should have at least 20k financial um, safety so we can run around uh, a couple of weeks because we will have to stay up there in Scotland. We have to hold the castle for, I believe, 20 days. Let's look at the quest up. Uh, 20 days. Right. We have to take Duntaro, A, and B, we have to hold it for 20 days. And that they're holding it for 20 days is the problem. That's the issue. Taking it is easily. We can do that right now. But holding it for 20 days requires to fend off thousands and thousands of pigs. Believe me. Thus, we have to be prepared. And prepared to fight for a long time. Uh, well, actually, oh, look at that. Yes, I'm going to buy that for that price. Even if we don't bring it to one of our enterprises. Uh, that's a fair price. We can sell it for like... Uh, 20 times the value we just paid. That's kind of cool. Always do that. Always do that if you're going to recruit and run. Damn it. And they give the hand out our villages. The ones we captured. And they're helping. Hel hel well, sorry. <laughs> they hand them out. My villages. All mine. 
I'm not going to uh, upgrade them more than Shield Warrior. Uh, they cost 15. Yeah, we're going to uh, take the X-Men with us. They're expensive. Uh, and the Shield Warriors are basically your basic troops for Garrison. And if you need to up them, upgrade them at some point, uh, we will do so. Of course. For now, I think we're fine. We're going to put them, the Shield Warriors in the city. And some other crappy troops. And then, we should be ready. We should be ready. I hope. At least we'll try, right? And by the way, we still have one Kari. We have captured one Kari. Oh, look at that. Ooh, 56 Danish warriors. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, we don't have enough money to recruit them. We can, that's not going to work. They 56, they cost about close to 20k, something like that. We can't afford it right now, sadly. Although I really want to recruit them. I mean, these, these are good troops. We can use them as, as cannon fodder, I mean, uh, shield wall troops and frontline troops, <laughs> just don't tell them I said that, uh, and we're fine with that, look at that, there's an element, whoops, sorry about that, I just clicked on my second screen, there is one of the element, probably the one we least from uh, Ransom, Ransomed, and there's actually a ship still lying there. What the hell? I thought we brought him back. Uh, see the ships, Pulse. No, right. I have. To, I had to sort them out, right? I remember. We're going to sell the Kavi. Uh, we had. Uh, see the ships. Now we have a Busse and a Busse. Right. We have two Busses and the three Snakers are basically uh, lying over there at the camp. And we can actually recruit men here, X-Men. Excellent, 10 men. Thank you so much. And some Finnish archers, perfect. Yes, excellent. They're expensive, but I always take Finnish archers, no matter how broke we are. Okay, now we are, yeah, broke. But we actually can make some little bit of money. Oh, no, we cannot, because this guy is broke as well. Guys, you're all broke. Well, you have a little bit of money. Uh, okay. Now, what we're going to do, uh, we can actually beat up one of the lords because he's right now in the field uh, close to our city. Uh, we're going to put in the shield warriors. Yeah, 58. These are going to be a standard garrison troops. Uh, the X-Men angle, that's fine as well. These are other X-Men. They're more expensive. Uh, actually put them in there right now as peasants. I don't really care. Put in the sailor. So we basically only have a bunch of heavy troops and quite a few in uh, archers. As a matter of fact, that's nice. And we're going to take out a couple more assault swords. Maybe some uh, mercenaries. So 120 men, that should be fine as a war party. We try to, to look for this lord, beat him up. And then, we shall see, let's actually take a couple more. That's fine. See, the party already costs 3,300. Uh, if we're going to travel north, we'll have to take at least 100 more men with us. Uh, and then it's probably still not enough, but we're, we're going to manage somehow. We're going to manage it somehow. To be on the safe side, we need like 300 men, I dare say. 300 men would be fine. Because we're going to fight uh, a lot of battles. A lot of battles against superior numbers. That's going to be nasty. Now let's see if we can actually find one or two lords. Just to see uh, if we can... Hold on. Dunham North. Being raided. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Perfect timing. They're attacking one of our villages. And we are going to... Yes, there he is. He's severely outnumbered and outclassed. We're going to chase him down to the coast. We meet again, Hara Bluetooth. I will not begrudge you your victory last time that we met, but I'm anxious for another round. Well, I say it only once, Elderman Oswald. Surrender or die. That's what I was looking for. Everyone follow me. We're going to... 
actually test out, finally we have enough archers with us to actually test out uh, the strategy I introduced you to a couple, couple of episodes ago actually. We're going to try to draw them in. Oh, they have the high ground. Probably. It looks like they're behind the hill right now. It looks like they're behind the hill. Let's see if we can take the hill for ourselves. Although I don't know how the terrain will look behind that, of course. Where are they? Where the hell are they? There they are. All right, that's not ideal, to say the least. Uh, hold your fire, look at that, the archers. Look at all the arrows, these idiots. Actually, it's my fault. I should have thought about that. They are using the, the arrows completely retarded. There is no way they're going to hit anything at all. Like, at all. This terrain is completely unsuited for uh, combat tactics. For the combat tactics I want to apply. Because our archers will have no line of sight to the enemy. And I don't want to get too close. As these guys do have spears to throw. Uh, we'll actually have to draw them in. Now let's form an infantry shield wall. The cavalry is actually going to hold the position here. The infantry is going to hold the position here. Yes, we are going to draw them in. Archers, fire orders, fire at will. We're going to advance the archers. So the infantry is holding firm. Everyone, fire orders, fire at will. And the archers may get off some lucky shots. And you, damn you, cavalry! Stay away from my archers. Yeah, well, we do not really get a shot in. Terrain is completely unsuited. Well, right now, yeah, yeah, now we're getting some shots in. Let's actually, fall back with the infantry. Let's try to archers a little more. Yeah, and now they're shooting completely in their flank. I'm going to send the infantry now. This is not ideal, of course. I mean, they have to shoot uphill, but they do get some shots in. They do get some shots in. Very nice, very nice. Very nice indeed. So this is basically what I was trying to do. Put the archers on the flank. We actually outflank them completely. And as you can see, they do get a couple of kills. Well, this was a little bit of extreme version of the outflanking maneuver. Sadly, he escaped. Oh, look at that. We rescued a couple of Danish Vikings, an Ulfidin, a shipmaster. Very nice. Very nice. Took a couple of prisoners, like I care. Not really worthwhile our time, but we take them. We need the money. Share the Lutheran this comment. Look at that. Free battle trophies, a helmet, and a lot of other stuff. We can actually sell to uh, the bandit hideout right close by. Yes, I do remember that. And because we are so broke, we're currently taking everything we can. Now we're right now. Because we're really broke. Right, because now we can go to the Danish Longport over there. Sell the stuff. And actually make use of these guys. Oh, look at that. There is another party. Well, I know what we're going to do in the next episode. With a little bit of reinforcements. Because we don't want to lose any men. If necessary. He's patrolling around Dunwich. We know where to find him. Perfect. We're going to kick this guy as well. Sells boys to the bandits. Are not the battle trophies. But uh, you can basically sell. All uh, this crap. We do actually make quite a little bit of money with all this stuff. Now look at that, we would have fought. Oh, well, they are out of inventory space. But we can sell them more. Just need to go out of the trade menu. Good to know. 
good to know. Well, that was quite profitable. So, guys and ladies, in the next episode, we are going to get a couple more men because we want to kick this guy as well. Basically, go out with a full force, kick the crap out of him, and make sure uh, these guys are put down and don't get any funny ideas. Probably try to capture uh, one of our two lord my lords. After all, we can always sell them uh, for extra money. And of course, we want to weaken the Kingdom of Dunwich while we are away. And as a matter of fact, in the next episode, we're going to start with the traitor over there. <laughs> because there is a traitor of Alban right in front of us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on the series. Anyway, thanks for watching. 